hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue the blog PHP that is the second part of the about us page okay so in last video we have completed till here where we are going to add it okay for this for this blog purpose okay this is the about us page so on this about us page we are going to display the content over here right so in previous video we have learned how to do this and we have come till here add and all okay so i have done the coding and i have given the link into the description for this how to do this about us page okay about us so where we are going to add the data so i have added the data and edited it okay so edit the data you can edit it and then update also so after updating you will get a message that your data is updated okay and then if you want to delete it will get deleted right okay fine so this uh, this is has been done and now main thing what we are going to do is that we are going to fetch this data which we have added over here into this website okay so if you want to know where is this uh, this video link i have given into the description of this video okay so that is admin panel 11 okay about us page so yeah guys so let's get started with this so guys let's go to the coding part and this is our about us page okay so simple about us page and this is the some details of it right so now this is our page okay where is about fund of web it everything is written so in, instead of this i am going to use this title okay and this is the subtitle and this is the description okay so guys let's get started okay so this is my title and let me give one h6 this will be my subtitle let's view the output okay this is the subtitle and the paragraph right so guys now do the coding part for retrieving it into this okay as simple we are going to use the database connection first php code and php close so now we are going to take the database connection okay where it is inside admin file we have given a db config dot php file right so let's go to tell include function that is admin folder inside admin folder db config dot php okay so give slash db config config dot php file okay so it is done and connected now now what we have to do or else you can tell this as a require function also req ire require okay so you can use any of it now in a simple and formal way we will give a dollar query variable is equal to we will select the values from the table okay select star from my table name okay so let's go to our database and see that is the table okay what is the table name so this is my admin table and this is the about table okay so this is my about table where we have done the CRUD application for this okay so let us copy this table name and paste it over here okay so this is my about table about table this is over here from this admin panel only okay so do not get confused and let's get back and let's execute this query so run this query query run oops query run is equal to where i'm using mysql query function mysql query function to run the 
this line okay to run this line i'm using this okay so over here so before running this uh, to run this line now you need the connection to give this database connection to run this mysql query okay so let's give dollar connection then comma run this query so this dollar connection means the file that database connection okay so let us go to dbconfig.php file okay so this is the database connection which we have given it so let's copy this and go to your abort.php and paste it over here okay done and then we have to uh, use for each loop or for loop however you can use and retrieve the data okay so now let's uh, use the for each loop so for each that is dollar query run as dollar row i'll give okay so let's check for this and give the open and close curly braces okay so let's give dollar row in array okay what you are going to fetch is that the value what is the value let's check into the table title subtitle description title okay then subtitle then the last is description and links okay so links is also there done and let's execute this and see the output is coming or what okay so we are executing it so we are not getting the output why okay we did not give echo so let's echo the value okay so as simple we will echo the values echo and let's see the output okay so we are getting the data okay so data are coming now we will arrange according to the things okay so before this i am going to write one if condition if this data is correct then execute it else else echo no record found okay simple so no record found and now over here okay i am going to use if there is no data he should give me my sqli num rows rows function okay so over here i am going to use this and paste okay so let's see the output okay so that it output is same if it is less than 0 okay if it is less than 0 means it will give you an error okay or else it will give you the output right so it is set now so guys now let's divide this codes so what i'm going to do is that i will divide this code okay so this is our start to end php code i will divide this into two parts right so let me close the php and open the php okay done so guys now what i am going to do is that i'll just cut this part down part control x and go somewhere here okay done so it's done and this is my path so guys now what i will do is that i'll just take this remove this my title and tell php code 
PHP open and PHP close and echo this value inside this okay done so same way we have to echo it for subtitle also okay PHP open and PHP close so let's echo the subtitle echo subtitle done and in the same way for the description too right okay so php open and close so very simple and easy guys it's just a pasting and fetching the value and displaying the content that's it and same at the last for the link we will give okay so that is a button okay so this button will be for to go somewhere right so let's give in the href tag okay so uh, as php open php close okay done and we will give tell that go to bootstrap dot com okay get bootstrap dot com done right that's it now the data is coming as same as what is there into our admin panel okay so these are admin panel let's give f instead of this um, this small data we will get some bigger content so let me take us some dummy values dummy contents okay so let's google it let's click on the first option and okay okay so i'm going to take this value first one so guys yes let's copy this go here edit the data and let me add this field into this and let's update this data not updated because the text is too long into the database okay for this description so let's go to the structure okay so it's loading let me close this and this is the description where cut 200 i have given so let's change this and make it as um large one okay long text so load it soon so let's give us long text and remove this value and save it so now our data will be added and altered successfully so guys let's reload it let's edit once again and paste it okay so let us check it once whatever the error is there means we'll remove it okay so it's done and let's update it data not updated because there is some error into this text because it is like i'll show you so let me check this text okay so it doesn't accept these things because it's a input type so unknown gallery of it let's check now and let's update and data is updated see here so that was one single mistake where the top hyphen it doesn't accept it okay so that is a problem i don't know what is that actually so it doesn't accepts that uh, top semicolon okay i mean uh, top of a stuffy so let's reload the page and see the content okay so this is our content uh, done over here and if you want some more you can just add it on and let's update from the subtitle to 
about my website okay so let's update it and it's updated and let's see over here okay so let's reload the page and about my website is coming so guys um in this video we have learned that how to set the contents for the about us page and for this notification and notices and all so we will create uh, step by step and we will go on further so guys in this video that's it and uh, we will go to next on faculties okay or else uh, we will go on department of computer science so first we have to add the department then we have to add the um, categories okay so first we should be sub categories then sub categories will come so first thing is that if i click departments so it should show me all the department bca bcom whatever and then choose according to that okay so guys in this video that's all and please subscribe like and share and we have completed the about us page from the database that is updated over here okay so this uh, crud application i have done in the admin panel video and i have shared the link in the description for this so guys thank you for watching video once again and please subscribe like and share